Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world. I am Ocean Siren, and I wanted to do a video response to a, um, a video, obviously, that Lady Grave Dancer put up quite a while ago. Um, and let me look at my note. It was, do you need a book of shadows? Now, I'm going to take off my glasses to lessen the glare. <clears throat> now, I'm going to interpret this as, do you have to have a book of shadows in order to practice? My answer to that is no. Actually, my full answer to that is you really don't need anything to practice but yourself. But that's another video. So, do you need a, a book of shadows? I would say no. However, it also depends on the practitioner. I know two very powerful, very devout witches that do not have a book of shadows or a book of anything. Grimoire and none of that. Um, I, myself, have a book of thoughts. Why do I have a book of thoughts? Because my thoughts are everywhere. <laughs> and if I don't have a place to write them down, they will leave. So, I keep a book of thoughts. And my book of thoughts has everything from spells to thoughts for the day to recipes. Everything that I would think goes in my book of thoughts. Other people have very, very structured, beautiful, by the way, um, for those of you that think I'm dissing the book of shadows, totally not. Um, some of them are absolutely gorgeous. And also, um, if you had like a child and you may in the future want to pass on your grimoire and or book of shadows to your child, then you might want to keep one. Almost like a, um, here are the family secrets, you know, heirloom. That's what I'm looking for. An heirloom to pass down generation to generation. That's a beautiful idea. And I think that would be an excellent thing to do. Um, but as a solitary practitioner, one without children... I keep a book of thoughts. Now, if in the future I end up having a kid, um, then I will think about that. And I probably will. Um, for no other reason than to be able to pass on some spells that have worked for me onto my child and some knowledge that I've gathered onto my child. But, um, do you need one? No. Is it a requirement? No. But if you're someone like me who has, um, a sieve for a brain <laughs> uh, you might want to keep a book of thoughts or some people I've heard book of angels grimoire book of shadows book of thoughts uh, you can put up a book of mac and cheese it doesn't matter um, as long as that book works for you and it holds the information that you need it to hold that's really all it's about so I hope this helps um, and I hope it answers the question because that was I really wanted to uh, to put my piece out there on this one um, because I don't feel, I really don't feel that you have to have one. And so I don't want people to um, feel that it's a requirement. You know, like you have a list of school supplies that you have to get in order to go to class and practice. You know, it's not, it, it doesn't work that way. Um, so there you have it. I hope this helped. And uh, comments are great. If you disagree, disagree politely. If you agree, agree politely. I appreciate it. All right. Until next time, guys. Bless it be.